To create the cover sheet for this project, there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing it. For both of them, the first step is going to be to save the title block drawing and the base plan drawing that are provided in the class. So you want to go into Assignment 2 and download this title block DWG. This is assuming that you don't have a template from the CAD 1 or CAD 2 classes. Um, then you want to go into the Assignment 3 page here and download this DWG file. And you want to save those to your computer. You go back into AutoCAD here. Now you can either import the title block that's already set up in this, and we want to use the 24 by 36, into this base plan. And the way to do that is just to right click down here where it says new layout on this plus. So you right click, go to from template, and then if it's, it may be set to uh, DWT, you can just set it to DWG. And then you're going to look for your title block vector drawing. Click open, and then click on the 24 by 36. Click OK and then you will have the this title block that meets the, the IDCAD standards in your drawing. And then you can go from there to um, modify the sheet number. Uh, the benefit of this, let's see how many of our textiles we got. We got, um, looks like, mo I think most of them. So then you can use these text styles that are already set up to then input the, the text that's required on right on the title block. Now the other way you can do this is you can um, take the information that's in model space here, that's in the base plan, and the first thing you always want to do when you're doing something like this is to make sure all of your layers are on and thawed, which it looks like they are, and you can just select everything in the drawing and then right click, do a clipboard copy, and then you could go into your title block drawing, go into model space, go right click, do clipboard, and I would paste to original coordinates. So then you also have the, the base plan that's in this. We don't necessarily have to have the base plan for this drawing, but I think it's a good idea to start working in one file so that you can um, not, not have, you know, the cover sheet in one file, the, you know, architectural plan in another. Um, so I would do it either one of those two ways. Now once, like I said, once you, you've got these layouts and the plan in the same sheet, you can then use those text styles to input the, the text you need. And what you may want to do is go into, um, you know, you can just use multi-line text and input it using guidelines. Um, you could also create a table style and to do that, you just go up here, I'm on Annotate, and go up here where it says Table, you can click on this little arrow, and you can create a new table style. I'm just going to call it AIO for right now. And then what you can do is adjust the text um, to these, let's see, I'm in the data. So if I'm in the data, then what I want to use for the text is the title block, let's see, wait, let me just double check my, you also want to make sure you're referencing your text standards here. So when I'm doing the uh, table, I want to use these two text styles, the 3 16 aerial and the 3 32nd inch aerial. So let me go back in here and make sure I'm in the right, cancel out of this, okay, yes, I'm in the right one. So then what I want to do is I want to select my, um, let me see which one is the, so the notes, and the names are what we want to use. So for the data, we want to use the notes style. So the title block notes, 32nd. And then if we go back into the headers, 
we can set that text style to the title block names and then click OK and close and then if we want to put a table in for example if we want to put in the table and um, I'm just going to put it in increase my rows here a little bit you'd have to look at exactly how many you need for things but you can then use those to put in you know things like the drawing index or um, the um, code information and just customize how many rows and how many columns you need. Like I said, you can also just put that in using the multi-line text and use guidelines. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit and gets you going in the right direction, but as you go along just let me know if you still have questions.